Good morning. Today we're going to learn how to solve quadratics using the quadratic formula. Um, and this is basically exactly what we're doing based off of yesterday's lesson. We identify our A values, our B values, our C values, and then we substitute into the formula. But I'm actually going to do it a little differently. So the quadratic formula is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. You need to make sure that you remember it is a plus or a minus, and that your equation must be equal to zero or y equals. You can't have any numbers on the right hand side. Let's do our first example. We have 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. I'm going to do it a little differently. We're going to first identify our a values, our b values, and our c values. Our a is the number attached to my x squared, so a is 2. B is attached to my X, so B is negative 3. And then C is hanging out by itself. It is the negative 5. If you go up, there are three components of my quadratic formula. There is the negative B, the B squared minus 4AC, and the 2A. That is what we're going to write. So I'm going to write down negative b, b squared minus 4ac, and now I'm going to write 2a. So negative b is simply negative of a negative 3. And whenever you make a substitution, you need to practice safe math and put it in parentheses. What is the negative of a negative 3? You got it. It's a 3. Now, we type in negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5. B, A, C. You type this into your calculator exactly as it's written, and you should get 49. So that's going to be the number that goes under my radical. I now do 2a, which is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. I now simply substitute these into my quadratic formula. We know x equals negative b plus or minus the square root, and actually color code this one second, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We now simply just make our substitutions. We said negative b was actually equal to 3. So I get x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which we said was 49, all over 2a, which we said was 4. Well, 49, we said last week, was a perfect square because 7 times 7 is 49. So I can break this up into x equals 3 plus or minus 7 over 4. We now simply break it apart into our plus and our minus. So we get x equals 3 plus 7 over 4 and x equals 3 minus 7 over 4. You simply type this into your calculator. 3 plus 7 is 10. Divided by 4 is 2.5. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Divided by 4 is negative 1. So this quadratic has two solutions one at x equals 
and 1 at x equals negative 1. That is all you're doing for these questions. All right, if you're stuck, rewatch. If you are like, you know what, this actually isn't that bad, let's go on to the next example. So I have 9x squared minus 11 equals 6x. We don't like our 6x on the right-hand side. So to get rid of that 6x, we subtract 6x from both sides. So I get 0 equals 9x squared minus 6x minus 11. I now identify my a, my b, and my c. a equals 9 b equals negative 6, c equals negative 11. If you go to the left part where we just did some simplifying, we actually then did negative b, b squared minus 4ac, and 2a. We're going to do the exact same procedure, and we're going to color code it. I have a negative b, a b squared minus 4ac, and a 2a. Negative b is just equal to negative of a negative 6, which is equal to 6. b squared minus 4ac, my b is negative 6, I have negative 6 squared minus 4 times my a of 9 times my c of negative 11. I type that exactly into my calculator as written, and I get 432. And then 2a is just equal to 2 times 9, which is 18. I now just type it, substitute those in to x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 432 all over 2a, which was an 18. We now need to do some messy math and simplify our radical 432. And I'm actually going to see divide by 6. You can divide by 2, you can do whatever, as long as it works. And I get 6 and 72. I'm now going to do 2 and 3. Circle those primes. I'm going to do 9 times 8. I'm going to do 2 times 4. Then I'm going to do 2 times 2. Circle those primes. And then 3 and 3 makes 9. All those numbers go under a radical. So I have one, two, three, four, four twos. And I have one, two, three, three threes. Double on the inside, single on the outside. Got one double of a two. Got another double of a two. Got a double three. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. So I have 12 radical 3. So I can now substitute that in for 432. So I have x equals 6 plus or minus my 12 radical 3 over 18. I can break it apart, 
and get x equals 6 plus 12 radical 3 over 18, or x equals 6 minus 12 radical 3 over 18. You then type this exactly into your calculator as written, you do it on Desmos, and you would get two different answers. For the first one, after rounding, we get like x equals 1.5. And then for the second one, I would get, one sec, I'm just typing it, negative 0.82. You can write it like this, or you can leave it like this. I'm going to write down correct, correct. Both ways are correct. Now, let's go on to number three. In this example, I have 3a squared equals 6a minus 3. If you want, you can just change them to x's. That's what I always do, and you'll still get full credit. So I'm going to subtract 6a from both sides because I don't like this anything on the right-hand side. So I have 3a squared minus a equals negative 3. Thing is, I don't like this negative 3, so I add 3, add 3. And I get 3a squared minus 6a plus 3 equals 0, which I like. So I now identify my a value, b value, and c values. a is the number attached to my x squared, so a is equal to 3. b is attached to my a, a, or my middle, so b is equal to negative 6, and c is the number hanging out, so c is equal to 3. I now do my negative b, my b squared minus 4ac, and my 2a. So negative b is equal to the negative of a negative 6, which is a positive 6. b squared minus 4ac. So negative 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times 3. We type and type. And we get 0. Ooh, that's fine, though. Now 2a, we do 2 times 3, and we get 6. We now just do the substitution into the formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get x equals my negative b was 6 plus or minus the square root of 0 all over 2 times 6. I mean, just 6, sorry. 2a is 6. I know the square root of 0 is 0. So I get... Six plus or minus zero over six, which becomes six plus zero over six, and six minus zero over six. I type this into my calculator and I get one. Type this into my calculator, I get one. So I can say that x is equal to one. And that's it.
So if you have any questions, you may email myself, you may email Ms. Townsend. One thing I would do is rewatch this video. Make sure you took down how to do each question. Make sure you write down your daily noticing and your daily question. And make sure you practice, practice, practice. Have a great, great day.